All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's try this again. This time, hopefully, I have all of the settings correct and uh, nothing super weird happens. We have generated map. Our generated map has no city, no fortified, low pavement, low planted fields, no road, no rubble. The elevation is no cliffs, low craters, low elevation, no mountain. Natural features, low rough, no sand, no swamp, low woods, no jungle, low foliage, no snow. The woods is actually supposed to be medium. And lakes medium, river low, ice none. So now that that's fixed, we're good to go. I am in a Stormcrow Prime. Uh, my SPAs are Gunnery Specialization Energy, Natural Aptitude Gunnery, Clan Pilot Training, and One Point of Edge. I gave every player One Point of Edge uh, just to get them through the tournament. It was also a new rule, so I wanted them to see how it worked. Uh, the Night Gyre A has Hot Dog, Natural Aptitude Piloting. Uh, weapon Specialist, Medium Pulse Laser, Clan Pilot Training, and two points of edge. I'm deploying in the east, they're deploying in the west. I've got initiative for deployment. Uh, I don't know where he is. I'm gonna start on... I kind of want to start on this side of the river, but I feel like it's going to be a bad idea. We're gonna go for some elevation. There's no way over here for me to start and not have to walk through some stuff. So we're gonna start there. I've lost initiative. Get up here. I'm gonna run just in case I can see him. Nope, I can't see him. Alright. I've lost initiative again. Let's go... Oh, there's still quite a bit of... Can't see him terrain. Let's see if that gets me anywhere. Hmm, that means he's over here somewhere. More than likely. So I'm going to actually back up next turn. He's got initiative. Third time in a row. Okay, we're going to back up. Yep, let's try not to fall down. I managed not to fall down. I needed a three. Okay, I'm still not getting any sensor blips. Change that. Okay, we're going to skip firing. I have initiative this time. No idea where he is. We're going to move this way. Make sure there's not quicksand or something in here. That counts as heavy woods? That was foliage. Okay. We'll go there. Minimize that. Because uh, I don't want to go in there where he's got an Ultra AC-20 and medium pulse lasers. I'm playing hide and seek and he's got initiative. Still nothing on that side. We're going to go around. Hmm. Uneventful so far. Oh, there he is. Can we turn and get him? 
I need 12, so then with large lasers, we're going to fire. He missed with his large pulse. I missed with both of my large lasers. But now we're into a fight, and I've got initiative. And he's gone. All right. Go this way. There we go. Turn. Elevens, thirteens on my ER mediums. Missed. This could be bad. Elevens for me. He moves closer. I see you're moving closer, and I will back up. Because I've got better range than you do. That puts him at 19 hexes. See if I can hit you with anything. I got your left torso with my ER large. Tens for me. He moves closer. I want, I want some cover. Hmm. Can't see him through there. It's a lighter square. Maybe I can hit him. I can hit him. All right, nines with a large. We're at 15 hexes. Oh, torso twist. To face him. Nines with the large, elevens with the mediums, which puts him at extreme range with his pulse lasers. With his medium pulse lasers, anyway. I got left torso, left leg, left arm. He's not going to fall down. He's a 2-2 with natural aptitude piloting. Very unlikely for me to knock him down. Where am I going to go? I think away. Yeah, I'm going to move away from him. I'm not shooting. He's not shooting. Let's move some more. I'll face that way and see what I can get. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to move farther away. Turn. 13's on ER large. Okay. Three and a six. I'm going to go there. Torso twist puts that in my front, which puts almost everything in my front arc with the torso twist. So here we go. Nines again. ER mediums are out. Got his left leg. Okay, I've missed that again. Let's back up into the heavy woods so i've lost initiative Oop, i can still see him we're at 22 hexes it's long range outside of mediums he missed with his large i had doubled up on his ct I've got initiative. Where does he go? He comes closer. I think I'm going to stay right where I am. Because this puts him at 17 hexes. I can go forward two and hit him with... Hmm, I can also move there. Negate his partial cover. Because he... What's his modifier? How far did he move? He ran. STMM is two. Okay. 
So if I run into the heavy woods, that gives me two for my modifier, four for heavy woods, but it puts him at 11 hexes. I don't really want to be at 11 hexes. So I'm going to stay where I am. And shoot him at extreme range. Excuse me, long range. Maybe long? Yeah, long range with my large lasers and extreme range with my ER mediums. Because he's only got me with this large pulse. I hit right torso and left leg, except left leg went into cover. That's okay. He's got initiative. I'm going to stay here and make him come to me. He's over there in the woods. Okay. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear all this dinging. Not, not terribly excited about all the dinging. That gets me five. I'm going to turn. Get up there. Okay. No shooting, out of sensor range. He's got initiative. I'm going to walk into the heavy woods. I suppose I'm going to run into the heavy woods. See, I'm going to move to there and make him come to me. I need 11s with my ER large, 13s with the ER mediums. I got one, left leg. I needed that left leg hit. I've missed initiative. I'm staying put. See if he comes into me. He doesn't. Okay, I've got initiative. He pops up again. 19 hexes. I'm going to stay at 17 hexes from him. Walk forward three. Oh, that's 16 hexes. I don't want to be at 16 hexes. So, I'm just going to walk forward one. Put him at 18 hexes. Yes, because walking forward is one less than... Shooting through the heavy woods again. All right, sevens on my ER large, nines on my ER mediums. Just a large pulse from him. Left torso, right torso, left torso is open. CT is one medium laser from being open. All righty. I've got initiative. He moves forward. So he's now forward at 14 hexes. I'm going to back up into the heavy woods and give him a harder time. I need nines and elevens. Oh, he missed me with all four of his pulse lasers because he needed elevens. Uh, I got him with both of my ER large. His leg is almost removed. CT is open. The other two missed. And neither one of us is hot. I got a 3. He got a 12. I'm going to stay in my heavy woods cover and hope he can't cover too much ground. And he runs away. Can't say I blame him. I've got a big old gap between him and I. He's got initiative. He's over there. So apparently, with sensors, it's um, it's rolled each time, and it kind of determines your effective range. Um, yeah, I'm not moving. He moved farther away. I 
eights and tens. I hit his head. I didn't want to hit his head. I want to hit his left leg. Oh, head capped him. Okay, that that's fine. I'll take that. Woohoo! Uh, I am going to save the file. Save it in trials. And uh, Ward 1. So this is the first one for the blood name. Okay. My Stormcrow Prime has been used, so now I have to figure out which other version of the Stormcrow I'm going to use. The D is a poor choice for me because I'm at a plus one to use either of those weapon systems. The C wouldn't be a bad call because uh, pulse lasers are nice. Large pulse laser wouldn't be so bad. Uh, the B, I got six ER mediums and an ultra 20. And the A, Four medium pulse lasers, a Lerm 20, and two streak sixes. There's also the P, which is two ER large, three medium pulse. And because of how we've set things up, I also have the TC available, which is four ER mediums and a gauze rifle. So I have four opponents left to choose things for. Um... I think at this point I'm going to go the 2 ER large for this one. So I'm going to swap pilots, put myself in that mech, and then delete this one. Alrighty, so during this next iteration of the trial. I've been joined by my children, so you will likely hear them in the background, especially when they cry. So we're going to go grab the other bot. The other bot is going to be a striker. I'm going to load the bot, which is number 12. All right. Confirm this actually is what I think it is. Striker. Okay. All right. We have. I'll have them be red. That's fine. We're still on generated map. And oop, I'm going to be on the east. They're going to be on the west. They have jumping jack. Gunnery Specialization Energy, Clan Pilot Training, and some like it hot. So essentially, whenever he jumps, uh, his gunnery is zero. Because Jumping Jack takes it down two, and then Energy Specialization makes it down one farther. So that's a minus three, which completely negates his gunnery skill. Uh, mine has me at a 1, so we're fairly close to even there. The difference is he's got, he's got 6 medium pulse lasers, and I have not enough armor. So, let's see how this goes. Alright, I've got initiative for deployment. Um... I think I'm actually going to stay on this side of the river. I'm going to make him come to me. Problem is that if he closes, I can't run away. All right, we're going to go. All right. 
right. Oop, there he is. I still have large lasers. I don't know why that got all mixed around, but there we go. Large lasers don't quite reach him there. He decided not to move. Not real sure what's going on there. All right, so oh, that's not what I wanted. So he's over there. I'm gonna come up here and get elevation so he has less places he can hide from me. He's moving closer, he does not want to hide. Torso twist, keep him in front. Uh, tens on ER large, outside for medium pulse. Okay. I'm hoping I can poke some holes before he gets in here to medium pulse laser range. I've got initiative. He goes to there, which puts him at 18 hexes. I'm going to stand still and shoot him with my ER large lasers on sevens. And we're outside of range for medium pulse, which is okay. Left arm, a right torso. Those are two places I want to hit him. Okay. I'm also a little bit warm now. I'm going to back up a couple hexes. He's come to, he's come a little closer which put him at 15 hexes. I'm okay with that. That means I can hit him with my large lasers and he can't hit me again. Oh, nope, we're at extreme range for medium pulse lasers. I'm three over. We're going to skip those. We're gonna fire the streaks. Oh, they need 12s. Oh, right. Which means I'm probably not going over. All right, he got me with one, two, three, four medium pulse lasers, doubled up on my left arm. I got his left torso and right torso, internal and right torso. Okay. Uh, he's got initiative. I'm going to go into there. See if I can keep him from jumping across the oh he's probably down here somewhere so I can't see him all right that's driving me absolutely crazy hold on turn the master volume down quite a bit um, I that's those are both depth one, I believe. Maybe this one's depth two. Oop. That's depth two. I don't want to walk into that. So I'm just going to back up to there. Make him come to me. That's much better. All right. I can't see him. I don't have a sensor blip. All right, I've got initiative this time. I still can't see him though, so we're gonna come this way. I think that's down a level. I don't want to be down a level. All right, if I go over there, I can't see anything this way. So maybe don't go in there. We'll go there so I can still see some stuff no idea where he went. Probably need to come down here. All right. Let me check something real quick. All right. The Stormcrow P does not have Active Pro like I thought it did. That's a moth. All right. Um, I got to move. I'm going to go this way. Only get to there. See if something pops up. Still nothing. I'm gonna have to get off of this side. Which means I'm gonna have to enter the water. I don't want to enter the water. Let me go down there. Let's 
that dinging sound. It's terrible. All right, this should be level zero. Yep, and then this is level one. Okay, and I can't run into water, so. Going down there. Skip. Okay. He's got initiative again. I'm gonna get to there. And try not to die by water. Whew. Did not breach. Still can't see him. I've got initiative. But no idea where he is. Getting out of the water. Oh, nope, nope, can't run out of the water. Turn that way. Yep, managed not to fall. Okay, no idea where this guy is. No idea where he is. I've got initiative again. Yeah, no clue. Should have pretty good vision now. No idea where he went. Great. All right. We'll stay, oh, we'll go up onto there. Can't see him. All right, I've lost initiative. Well, let's go this way and see if we can find him. Uh, well, he succeeded in his piloting check, whatever he needed to do. All right, so again, we're at the point where I have no idea where he is. Um, maybe he's over here somewhere. I don't know. I've lost initiative. I am... I'm at levels... I'm at level negative one? Oh, those are also level negative one. Okay. So if I go to there, I get a little bit better field of view. Less things are hiding. We'll try there. All right. Still no idea where he is. Hmm. Really wish we weren't playing cat and mouse right now. I think he may be over here somewhere. Let's see if we can get a better sensor return somewhere. Nope. Where did he go? I don't see him. We'll go to there. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, we could be in trouble. I'm going to skip the large lasers. We're going to go to the medium lasers and the SRMs. And that puts me at 21 of 24 heat. So we are going to skip one large laser, fire two medium pulse lasers. Uh, now we're going to fire three medium pulse lasers. And we're going to fire both streaks. I need fours. So let's hope we can open... Ooh, you know what? No. We're just... We're going to go all the way. We're going to fire all the things. Ooh, no. I better not do that because that puts me at 17 heat. Alright. One large laser. Let's, let's, let's view the target. Maybe that's a better way to do this. Okay, right torso is almost off. Oh, choices, choices. We're gonna go large laser, two mediums, and two streaks. 
only be at five over and pray that we hit what we need. All right, so he's hit me with one, two, three, four, five, six medium pulse lasers, but hit me with only one of his machine guns. I'm struggling. Okay, right arm's got 11. Right torso has 7. My edge is gone now. The left leg has 15. Right arm has 4. CT has 15. Right torso has 3. CT's down to 13. Okay. Uh, right torso is open. One point remaining. Right torso is removed. So he now has two engine hits. CT is open. Um, both streaks landed. But he has AMS, so only four of the six missiles hit for both. And he's got one medium laser left for... Sorry, that's an ER medium. The medium pulse are only six damage. All right, he's in bad shape, but he's somewhere I'm not going to be able to do much about it. And he's at 13 heat, I'm at 5. I've got initiative. Oh, he's in the water. Oh, well, I'm going to go over here. Yeah, I'm going to go there. Because uh, it's his right arm that's missing, and this that's that would be the correct side. I'm gonna go to there. Torso twist. We're gonna go medium pulse lasers and streaks. Be a three over. I'm cool with that. All right. Um, Left leg, right leg, right leg, medium lasers deal no damage. Right arm goes to right torso, goes to center torso. Left leg, right leg, right leg, right leg. Of course, left torso. And then where left torso strips the armor, CT, left arm, left torso, CT, gyro. CT breached. He's down. All righty. So I'm going to press done. I'm going to save. All right, so I'm looking at the A, the B, and the C as far as which ones I'm going to go with. I think this time I'm going to go with the A. I think so. Maybe the B. I don't want to use the C yet. Maybe I should. No, I'm going to go B. I'm going to go with the B. And hope for the best. Swap pilots. And delete. Okay, now let's grab the bad guy. Uh, I'm going to default the skirmisher with force withdrawal off. We're going to grab. Oh, there it was. I need to grab number five. View. No, configure. Skirmisher. Okay. A lot of them are skirmishers. Um, Mad Dog DD has two LB2s. Alarm 20, three medium pulse lasers, and uh, a streak six. So had I gone with the A, we would have been pretty evenly matched, except I bring more armor than he does. But what? Uh, he's got Oblique Attacker, Sandblaster Alarm 20, Human TRO, and Clan Pilot Training. But this guy doesn't have Edge. I'm going to be on the east. He's going to be on the west. Fairly close to even. Oop, let me fix the map. One thing I did not notice 
uh, something we did notice is that I needed to turn the disable automatic ejection off and I actually can carry forward pilot hits um, and had I known that before I would have determined how many pilot hits these guys had um, and then round one would have been these five pilots, round two would be these five pilots, round three would be these five pilots and I would have escalated it that way but I didn't do that so um, and then they would have had a random number of pilot hits so for us we're just I'm just carrying forward okay so uh, easy skirmisher realize this mech says it's a brawler but it's got different weapon ranges so the skirmisher should be bouncing between different ranges and then utilizing those weapons so we'll see what happens so here we go all right i've lost initiative on deployment let's go look at our map all right uh let's start with a little bit of elevation we'll start here and turn that way is good enough. Avoid the concrete. Uh, I've got, I've lost it for a first turn. He's over there. Let's see, I'm in the B, so I'm going to go into these woods a little bit. Yeah, I need to close. He's shooting LB2s at me. Because he's got the range for it. Uh, he's got initiative again. I'm going to step into these trees. I'm going to try to put some more trees between me and him. He's moving into the foliage over there. I need 15s to hit him with those. 13s to hit him with those. Okay, I skip firing. He needs 12s with medium pulse lasers, missed. 10s with LB2s, missed. 12 with alarm 20. All right. I have initiative now. He moves closer. Why did he do that? I can't get any closer than that. Let me go to there and try to mess him up. Uh, I need 10s. Still gonna fire it. It's on single fire. These need 6s. Okay, so I'm gonna use the uh, ER mediums to soften him because I'm not gonna hit anything on that 10. Uh, I need 6s. He's at 5 hexes. We're gonna go 1 point over for 5 of 6 ER mediums. All right, one, two, three medium pulse lasers hit. Both LB2s missed. His streak missed. His LERM 20 hit for all 20 missiles. All right, I hit, hit him with all four medium lasers. Didn't double up anywhere. Uh, my left leg, left torso, center torso, right arm, right arm, right arm, center torso. So my right arm is kind of, uh, it's unhappy. I'm unhappy that it's got very few points left. All right. Um, I I'm going to step over here. Oop, I don't know. Nope, I clicked the wrong button. Switch location. Turn that way we'll see where he goes because there's a hole right next to him there's foliage in here I'm not sure how that actually works but we'll try that and see where he goes he goes over there okay turn I need nines to hit with the ultra 20 I need fives with the ER mediums we're gonna keep firing mediums Go one over for five of them again. 
right leg, left leg, right torso, left leg, missed with the missiles. I hit his head, and I hit with all five. Okay. 11, 11, 6, 6, 10. Cool. I did not double up again. So spreading out the damage. Right arm and left torso are both um, low. We both rolled sixes to stay standing. I'm at one heat. He's got initiative again. I'm going to continue moving through here. You're jockeying for position. Ooh. All I've got is that ultra. We're going to double tap because I can't hit him with the right arm. We'll see if I can hit anything. Left torso, right leg, streaks go off. My left torso has one armor remaining. My left torso has no armor remaining. And I missed. Okay. I've got initiative though. So he's there. Let's figure out his left arm and left torso. I want to be on his left side. So I want to be here. Turn. Yeah, I'm going to go there. I'm going to turn. I need sixes to hit him with the Ultra 20 and fours for the medium lasers. We're going to go five over, ten over. I need, I need fours. All right, let's see how this goes. He hit with three medium pulse lasers. Got either hit the same double heat sink or two heat sinks. Tagged my engine on the right torso. Right right arm is still attached. Right leg is still has armor. LB2 missed. LB2 missed. Alright. Uh, I took off his left torso, which went to center torso, still has armor. Right torso has armor, left torso went center torso again. Right leg has armor. Oh, well, there we go. Standard gyro engine, finished engine. And I stayed standing. All right, so done. We are going to save. Uh, this is... This is three. I avoided shutdown, which was good. And I avoided the ammo explosion, which was very important. Save file. Press done. All right, now we're into round four of the Blood Name Tournament. My opponent is a Pouncer D. Uh, I went with a Stormcrow A this time. Uh, so Lerm 20, four medium pulse lasers, and two streak sixes. The Pouncer D is six medium, six ER mediums, and two streak sixes. The pilot has gunnery specialization energy, has a sniper, and has weapon specialist streak six with clan pilot training. This is going to be a rough fight. Um, I might be able to do enough damage with the Lerm 20 before he gets into range, but we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, I'm in the east, he's in the west. Map has been configured. And here we go. All right. Yeah, 
Zoom out. I want to avoid this area because he's got jump jets, but he also has better range. So I'm going to go over here for a little while and see if I can skirt around. And Because if I'm down here, he might be exposed. So I'm going to start here, facing that way. Okay, I don't have initiative. I don't have line of sight on him right now. Turn to go up there. All right, so I don't have any targets. He's got a club? Why does he have a club? All right. He's got initiative. I don't really want him to have a club. That's not cool. All right, I can see most of the map there. Let's try that. Oh, he's all the way over there. Okay. The pouncer doesn't even have hands. Why does he have a club? Anyway, I'm going to change this to be Lerms first. No shots with the Lerms. Skip firing. All right. I've got initiative. He comes into there. Can I hit him? I can hit him from there with Lerms. I don't know. No, that's... Okay. He's at 25 hexes, which is extreme range. If I move to there, that should put him at 24 hexes. Nope, 23 hexes. Still extreme range. And I can't see him from those spaces. None of those are any better. So I need to stay on the platform. I'm going to move to there. Probably not going to hit him this turn, but I might be able to still see him next turn. Maybe I should go this way. I'll go that way. See if it makes it any easier. 25 hexes. Hmm. Choices, choices. If I go there, I gotta go around the lake to get up to here. So maybe I'll go I'll back up two spots. Still at 25 hexes, that's fine. Extreme range, 13s. No shooting. All right, I've got initiative. He comes closer. He's up on there. That's at 16 hexes, which means he can't hit me with his normal shots. He'd be at extreme range. I'll take that. Long range with the Lerms. I need 11s. I'm not pulling the trigger. Mm. Yeah, I've got 12. Nope, I'm going to shoot. I have a chance to hit. All right. Oh, I forgot about extreme range for the other things. He hit me with an ER medium. Missed with the streaks. I missed with my Lerm 20. Because he was close enough where I could hit him with the streak, not the streaks, the medium lasers. I should have tried. Mistakes were made. All right. Guess I'm going to back up. Uh, we're going to back up and get some elevation. Try not to fall down. Manage not to fall down. Don't know where he went. He got a little closer. He's at 15 hexes, which means he can hit me at his normal range now. I need 13s with my lerms. I need 11s with my medium pulse lasers. I'm gonna fire all four of those. All right. He tagged me with three medium lasers. He needed eights. I missed with everything, which was just four medium pulse lasers. Okay, I am losing trades right now. But he's hot by seven. But he's got initiative again. I'm going to back up some more. I don't want to go down there and lose line of sight. Back up three, 
see where he goes. All right, he is at. I need tens. He's at 13 hexes, which puts him in extreme range for the for the medium pulse lasers. I need tens there. I need tens, which means I need ooh, 14s. <laughs> we'll go. We'll throw lerms and four medium pulse lasers because there's other things I can hit with. Ear medium, ear medium, ear medium. I am losing armor. I hit him once. I have to get closer, but I have to win initiative to be able to do that. He's at eight heat. There we go. He got closer. I'm going to get closer. I, have, I should have partial cover there. Level zero, level one. I've got partial cover. He doesn't. We're going to move to there. All right. Yeah, Lerm 20 is... These are fives. Those are nines. We're going to fire all the things. We'll see if we actually hit with the streaks. If we do, we deal damage, so I'm not, not upset about it. Yay! I take one of the lasers to the ground instead of me. Lerm 20 hit for 9 missiles. We got 1, 2, 3, 4 broken ER medium. Oh. Hit with one flight of missiles. Internal left torso. Hit with both flights of missiles. Internal left arm and left torso. Got an engine hit. Destroyed the left arm. Well, this just turned in my favor. I'm at 14 heat. I avoid shutdown. He's at 16 heat. He avoids shutdown. Okay. I've lost initiative. I don't want to move. He has a jump of 5, so at most he can come into my face. Except he's lost half his mech. I'm not moving. He gets in my face. Okay. We're going to go medium pulse lasers and streaks. We're not going to fire the alarms. I need eights on streaks. Let's hope I don't overheat and explode. Okay. He fires two ER mediums. Hits my left arm. I get his CT for an engine and a gyro. So that's a second engine hit. Hit his head. Hit his leg, hit his arm, one flight misses, knock him out with the streak. Break his targeting computer twice, a serm, a jump jet, third engine. Got him by engine destruction. Also took off his left torso and hit his gyro again. Okay, got his engine. This is now the fifth and final trial. To me, fifth and final round of the trial. I'm going to grab the Stormcrow C. Uh, I have loaded all cluster munitions. Uh, this thing is super fast. Uh, this thing is an 812, but it's 25 tons. So any hit is going to matter. Two ER mediums, two ER smalls, a medium pulse laser, and two streak fours. And then I've got an LB-10, a large pulse, and two medium pulse. So we will see what happens here. The difference, uh, let's see what he's got for hot dog, maneuvering ace, multitasker, range master, and clan pilot training with one edge. So multitasker isn't going to do him any good. I don't know if he's got uh, enough heat to for hot dog to come into play. Um, but yeah, the cluster munitions are countered by the plus one that I get for shooting it because it's not a laser. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm coming in, in on the east. They're coming in on the west. And map is as it was. Here we go. 
I've got deployment initiative. Let's take a step back and look at our map. Ah, that looks pretty familiar. Uh, he runs the whole time and he wants to get in my face. But... So... Uh, I got elevation on this side. Hmm. I also get some elevation over here. We're going to start on this side. I'll start up there, see if I can begin by seeing him. And I've lost an issue first turn, but he's over there. I make my way up there. Still can see him. Yeah, I can tag him with the large pulse laser. We're gonna put the LB10 at the bottom. Large pulse laser. I need 11s. I pulled the trigger. I've got 30 rounds. Sorry, 30 turns of pulling the trigger on that. So I'm gonna shoot it every time I can. Hit the left arm. Large pulse laser helped. Okay, lost initiative. And continue moving. No, can't quite get to another higher elevation. So we'll move there, try to keep line of sight on him. He comes a little closer. We're gonna go large pulse laser on the sevens, mediums on elevens. I'm gonna pull the trigger on the LB. Fire Falcon fired medium. So we have medium pulse, both ER mediums, both streaks. I hit with the large pulse laser, missed with everything else. Uh, went left torso this time. Okay, I've got initiative. He's coming in. I can't see him there. I should be able to see him there. That's heavy woods, that's light, that's light. I'll walk and go there. That's. I'm happy with that. Large pulse on threes, medium pulse on fives, LB10 on sixes, which means I'm going to take some fire this time. Medium pulse and ER medium both go to my left leg. One of his streaks hit, CT, right leg, right leg, right torso. Hit both my legs. All right. Took the left arm and the left torso. Half of his weapons are essentially gone now. Uh, left leg took damage. Right arm is internal. Right arm is still there. Okay, I took 20. I fell down. Um, I avoided damage on a four. He fell down. Took damage to center torso rear. He fails to, to avoid damage. Okay. We're both laying down, but he's at 11 heat because he's missing a torso. I've got initiative. He gets closer. I'm going to get up. Yes, I wish careful stand. I want to face. No, I don't want to move that way. I just want to face that way. Yeah. I'll shoot. I don't want to shoot through that, really. But I think I'm going to. I'm zoom in here a little closer. Cause did he move? He moved far enough. He ran. Yeah, I'm good with just, just facing that way. Yep. Both succeed. Okay, he's gonna get all the things. Fives, fours, and sevens. Okay, he hits with an ER medium. The rest of his weapons are destroyed. Right arm is on the floor now. ER medium is actually hitting his right torso. Right torso has four points. Left torso is gone, goes CT, and missed with the other one. OK, 
Okay. He's at 13 heat. I'm at 5. He's got initiative. I'm, I'm going to stand still. I think he moved to get back to there. Ran. Okay. Or maybe he fell down. I'm not sure. I need ones on the pulse and four on the... There we go. Got the other side torso. But I hit with all the things. Six pellets. Destroyed the CT with the second medium pulse laser. Okay. Complete a destruction. Which means I've gone through all five rounds of the Blood Name Tournament. And... I now have... I get to pick a Clan Wolf Blood Name. Uh, I'm going to go with Ward, as you can see up here. The aftermath of Wave 5 and the Blood Name Tournament. I went in here and I have... Uh, I had... Excuse me. So, 2, 8, 16 points. 16, 17, 18, 24 points from between the Grand Melee, the Blood End Tournament, and my Trials of Position. So, the Grand Melee, I got a CT kill and an Engine kill. And then in the Blood Name Tournament, I ran the Prime, the P, the B, the A, and the C in the five rounds. One head hit, one CT, technically breach, and then the other three were engine destructions. So the head hit is worth two points, where the rest of them are each worth one, which is why I have six XP instead of five. So that leaves me with 12 and a half points of unspent. Um, anybody in here, I ran the Stormcrow in wave five. Bjorn was in a Pouncer D, had a, having a bad day. Got his engine, engine, engine destroyed. Normally he would have to sit out for at least two rounds, but there's a year that happens between wave five and wave six. So everybody who took injuries in wave five is fine by the time we actually kick off wave six. So same kind of thing. Excuse me, Edward uh, survived that match in that Ice Ferret D. Still had a bad day. Um, and then Marva was in her Adder again and got the engine destroyed. So, I I don't know what we're gonna do with Marva. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna keep her in the adder because she keeps getting blowed up. It also could be that I just need to run her in something else. It could be that I need to run her differently than I have been because it's my fault she's getting destroyed, so. But she got no kills. And then we go down here to Kyle and his Battle Cobra. He managed zero kills, unfortunately. Uh, Point Commander Mag Magnus got a kill with his Laser Elementals. Henry and his Timberwolf S scored two kills. Point Commander Boris got a kill in his Laser Elementals. Dag didn't go because he was injured. Uh, Johan got destroyed in his Timberwolf S, but again, he's going to be, he'll be fine. Um, I rolled him. He's not dead. I forgot to put in here that Bjorn is not dead and neither is Marva. Um, I did roll those. They were not sixes. I just forgot to notate it in here. So the Timberwolf S got engine destroyed, but he still managed to get three kills prior to going down. Um, and then poor Point Commander Einar, um, he only mangled that dragon before it ran off. Almost took him with it. Star Commander Naomi still scored one kill, having a bad day in her Summoner D. Uh, Vlad got two kills. Frederick got none. He's also having a hard time. I'm, I'm not sure if it's I'm running adders wrong or adders are really not as potent as the uh, lore suggests they were. I mean, they're, they're super mean for being a light mech, but 
Maybe I'm maybe I'm running them wrong. Maybe that's it. Uh, the horned owl managed to get one kill for Troy, and then Lucy mopped up with her rifleman 2C, even having a bad day with three and a half kills. So Lucy's got four points to spend. Troy's at one and a half. Frederick's got four. Vlad's at nine. Naomi's at two. Johan three. My elementals. Um, so they can spend their experience on an SPA. Um, and they can spend it on and they can spend it on an SPA that isn't an asterisk. But they have to spend it on a level that is appropriate to the manner to the amount of XP they have. So if they have one XP, they can buy a level one SPA. If they have two XP, because they killed two things, they can buy a level two SPA. If they have three, then they can buy a level three SPA. I think I'm going to have both of my groups go into human TRO mech. Assuming I can actually give that to them in mega mech, I haven't tried that part, so my apologies if that act doesn't actually work. But I think I can give them SPAs just like I would give anybody else SPAs. I could be wrong. That's what the plan is for Boris and Magnus. Einar's going to have to mangle another thing to be able to get anything else. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my 12 and a half points. Um, but Blair's going to be back. Uh, Raphael and Natalie have not seen combat yet. Neither has Ivar nor Harold. But I assure you, in Wave Six, we will have some more. We will have some more fun. Um, I have prepared that if we make it through Wave Ten, and if the clans defeat um, Comstar at 2K Ed, because we all know that's coming and it's going to happen after Wave Ten, if the clans are victorious at 2K Ed, then we will do another ten waves to get to Terra. Uh, and I've started setting that stuff up, but it's going to take us a little while. I'm hoping that somewhere between now and then I'll actually know what I'm doing with fighters. Because there is an MRC event that uses aerospace fighters. So I'm hoping to uh, get some reps in, at least in practice, prior to that. Alrighty. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.